didn't expect it to be that quick, but uh, yeah, thanks, Kieran Corla. Um, Everything is sometimes everything. Thank you. Um, Minister, this question relates to really uh, issues of child welfare and at its very essence, uh, religious control of the schools and who controls our schools in light of a particular circumstance that I believe you're aware of in Limerick, uh, where the Board of Management re uh, resigned on a number of occasions in relation to the behaviour of an obstructive teacher. Uh, and yet, uh, if you like, it was deemed that the local um, parish priest had more influence than the Board of Management, which is supposed to be uh, the way it should be. So. Thank you very much, Minister. Uh, yeah. In accordance with the Education Act 1998, teachers are employed by the school management authority of each individual school. In the case referred to by the deputy, in 2009, the school management sought to dismiss the teacher concerned. The Maynooth statute provided that a clerical manager shall not dismiss a teacher or assistant, male or female, or give notice of dismissal until the bishop be notified, so that the teacher, if she or he will, may be heard in her or his own defence by the bishop. And this statute was initiated in this case. The school was subsequently advised by the patron that permission to dismiss the teacher concerned was refused. Subsequently, the bishops agreed to abrogate the Maynooth statute, section 264, section 2, at a general meeting in December 2010, and this was approved by the Congregation for Catholic Education on the 29th of March 2011, with effect from September 2011. There is no agreement between the patron and the department in relation to monitoring the behaviour of the teacher concerned. My department are not aware of any child protection concerns regarding this school, and should the deputy have any such concerns, these should be reported to the Child and Family Agency. As there is ongoing litigation in this case, I do not wish to comment further until this action is concluded. Thank you very much. Well, Deputy my Dan. understanding, Minister, is that the litigation has completed and that the former principal has been absolutely exonerated in terms of her very responsible role in this situation where she sought in the best interests of her student to have an obstructive teacher removed. That stance was absolutely supported by the Board of Management in the school um, unanimously, but as you've indicated, it was not agreed by the Archdiocese, and indeed an intervention by um, the school board to the, your, your predecessor, Minister Quinn, cited that canon law uh, was the reason why he couldn't intervene. And to my mind, this gets to the heart of a subject which has been very much in the news as of late, the erosion of a constitutional right to a secular education system and whereby uh, uh, the Catholic Church shouldn't have a right to impose its rules over various schools. I mean, the law is clear. The Board of Management is supposed to decide on the running of the school. But in this case, it's very clear that the Board of Management actually resigned twice. The case ended up in the courts, the, the school lost, uh, the principal was vindicated, and at the root of this was the, the intervention, if you like, of the church in the background, which is a completely inappropriate place for the church to be in education. And I, I would ask you, Minister, maybe to clarify the point about ongoing inspections. My understanding was that an agreement had been reached that if given that this teacher wasn't going to be dismissed, that their behaviour would be monitored and that the department undertook that Thank that would much. be the case. So I wonder if you could clarify that. Right. Minister. Um, just in relation to the legal issue, uh, Deputy, um, there is ongoing litigation uh, between the teacher concerned and the Minister for Education and Skills. So um, I'm not in a position to comment. And in fact, the Department of Education Skills lodged its amended statement of defence uh, in relation to the proceedings on the 4th of September 2014. Um, just in relation to the, the issue around inspections, um, there are ongoing, obviously there's, there's regular inspections by the department, but there are also uh, specific inspections that can be undertaken um, in specific circumstances. And as part of its on annual inspection programme, the inspector conducted an incidental inspection in the school concerned on the 5th of June 2014. Um, and, uh, you know, that, that, that inspection took place. Um, but, I mean, there are ongoing inspections. But with regard to the, the I don't know whether you have different information with regard to the legal proceedings, but um, the information that I have is that the legal proceedings are ongoing. Thank you very much. Well,
a hearing, but there was an arrangement reached uh, outside of the courts, but again, that could be checked. I think the point here is that the Board of Management, who are supposed to be the organisation which runs our schools, twice decided that this teacher should be dismissed. The Department of, of Education did not uphold their lawful decision, if you like, um, and instead bowed to the interference by the Catholic Church and the parish priest in the area who intervened despite the resignation of two boards of management. My clear understanding is there was an undertaking given that seeing as the teacher wasn't dismissed, that the department agreed that his behaviour would be monitored. I accept, and it's true, that there have been follow-up inspections, but that teacher's behaviour has not been monitored. I would like to put on the record that we're not talking about uh, sexual abuse. It's, it's obstructive and inappropriate behaviour, but not of, of that character, you know? Thank you very much. Minister? Well, first of all, um, I'm not unsympathetic to the, the sort of general uh, philosophy behind um, Deputy Daly's approach, if you like, but um, because there, is, there, is, there are specific legal actions in relation to this specific case, I can't comment on the specific case, um, but uh, just to say that in general, um, that the department, if there are any concerns around um, behaviour in schools, um, that the department obviously does um, inspect and does monitor and um, will give undertakings in, in cases such as this when they're necessary. Okay, thank you very much.